Hi all, Henry Lynch here, um, back with another time lapse. This one took me, uh, I think it was about half an hour in the end. Um, and you can see I, I'm just, uh, I'm using a sort of pastel brush. Um, so it's got a bit of texture to it. I find it quite nice. I've done a couple of um, uh, film still studies with it and stuff like that. It's particularly nice for portraits. Um, it's a very sort of traditional looking brush um, and it works quite well. And I was just trying it on a random illustrative concept uh, in more sort of my own style. So here we have a character. You can see for the most part I actually I go in with quite a lot of thin lines, almost as if I'm sketching, but it's really, really loose sketching, and then I'm immediately blocking in uh, a value for, for the area. Uh, and it's quite a quick way to create a form. Um, granted, it's not the neatest thing, but that's what rendering is for. That's what, you know, if you have the time, you put in an extra hour. Uh, or two or however many you want to put in and you can render it however much you want um, make it look really sharp um, but for getting an idea across <coughs> sorry this is uh, a perfect perfect method because it's super quick super easy to a degree because you're not focusing too much in one spot but rather the, the whole image um, which means you sort of end up with a nice looking image as a whole by the end. Uh, so this character, either a robot or some cyborg man or something like that. Uh, again, I wasn't really sure what I was painting, so this isn't for anything specific. This is just uh, to try and make something that looked good. So um, at this point, you can see I've I've got most of it I'm just I think I'm overlining some of the arms there just to define them a bit more um, I changed the arm here because it was a bit weird I never know what to do with the arms uh, but you can see here I end up going with a sort of uh, more sort of perspective look on the arm so it looks like it's slightly you know, away from the camera uh, and then I believe I give him a gun so I named this piece Gunslinger just because uh, it looks kind of cool. He's kind of like shooting down at someone or something. Um, and now the values on this, they're, they're all right. Um, but in terms of design, looking at it now, as I think I said, I maybe I didn't. I painted this uh, a little bit ago now, so... Um, this is an older one for me, but the values, they're all right, uh, but in terms of, I like, I probably would have wanted to go the, the darker bit on his tummy, I probably would have gone a bit darker, perhaps a bit lighter on the other armour parts, uh, just to really pop the, the contrast and the design. Uh, I'm also very sorry, I'm sounding a bit funny, uh, I've been pretty ill uh, recently. <laughs> and uh, I'm just sort of at the end of it, I think. Um, so there, you may have noticed, I stopped recording and started again uh, the time lapse. Um, and that was a, a good moment for me to sort of take a look at the image, um, step back, see what I didn't like about it, go back in, and you can see I'm immediately changing uh, quite a central part of the design, which is the helmet. Uh, because I wasn't 100% happy with it. Um, so, it's it's always incredibly useful and eye-opening if you do get the chance to step away from a piece you've been spending time painting. Um, it's tricky though. I mean, I find very rarely that I either have the time or... Uh, or I just completely forget to, to step away because I'm so invested in the painting. Um, and most of the time it's fine, you know, if you've got an eye for it and you're, you, 
you're keeping an eye out for stuff then it, it should be fine but um, often you can come back to something and it just looks really weird and you're like well, what was I doing there um, so if you can you know um, spend half an hour an hour on something and then take a, a, a 10 minute break at least um, come back and uh, have another crack at it because you probably see a few mistakes that you could easily change uh, to better the piece. Um, I certainly can with this, as I say it's an older piece, so um, although I do like it I'm sure I could perhaps make it better, uh, especially on the rendering. Um, I didn't spend much time on this piece. Um, so the, the rendering is a bit wishy-washy but you can see I used a, a bunch of texture brushes just to add in uh, a, a fake look of uh, <laughs> completion to the to the rendering and I think it, it came out pretty good um, again I think I've said this in another video but unfortunately due to like my internet speed and uh, other other issues I can't spend too long filming um, a piece because it'll just take too long for me uh, to upload so I have to do slightly quicker ones but uh, it's good practice as well um, good practice to do shorter ones but I wouldn't suggest doing it all the time because otherwise you'll never know how to fully render something I do do a few fully rendered ones um, when I have the time um, anyway thanks for watching I hope you like it uh, you can check out my social medias below, and I will see you next week. Bye.